I have a 2008 Sea Doo Challenger 230. We've had this boat for about four years now. It's probably the best thing I ever purchased. I love it so much. So I'm going to do a video of solo launching 23 foot boat. It's about 4,500 pounds with fuel in it, all that. Um, I am launching here in Hudson, Wisconsin. I've been launching here for the last four years. They just re-approved, improved this dock and stuff. So uh, pretty simple and straightforward. So one of the keys to effectively and safely launching your boat is to try to do the same thing every single time. Uh, this is actually the very first launch of the year for me, so I'm a little bit out of practice. Uh, if there's a downside to this bigger boat is that it's not easy to get in and out of. I have to have a ladder or a step stool to get in and out. I would forgot my dock lines inside the boat, so I'm just grabbing those quick. Um, and I'm fixing those to the boat. One of the things you'll want if you're a new boater is to make sure you get some good dock lines. I got these on Amazon. They're a thicker three quarter inch line with a loop on the end. They make it really easy to uh, cut to a cleat or whatever. I do like how I can slide off the back of the boat. Um, one of the downsides is about every 20th time I do it, I'll sometimes turn my ankle a little bit. So uh, it's probably better to take the ladder if you can. Um, I put the self ratcheting straps on the back. It's so much better than the removable ones. Um, when I do the straps, I also will check the drain plug. Um, I had replaced my drain plug, so I knew it was already in. So I didn't have to check it that time. Um, this boat was a boat that we got in Florida. So I had to get a new uh, trailer for it. The other one had rusted through. Uh, that's a Venture, I think it's a 5950 that I put some c logos on so it matches a little bit nicer. Um, I tend to unhook um, the front and the back of the boat for launching, and then I mount up a line on the side here. So I almost always mount a line on the port or the left side of the boat. That way when I hop out of the driver's seat, it's easy to grab. Uh, sometimes I'll pull it off the trailer and then sometimes I'll tie it off on the dock and just kind of push the boat in. Kind of depends how busy it is and if it's safe to do that. I try to keep it from dragging. If that goes under the wheel, you can pull out a cleat or something like that. All right, we're ready to go. So this is the new boat ramp. Um, they just completed it in August of 2023. The old one was pretty bad. There weren't any good lines. Uh, there was no texture really on the launch. Um, it was too shallow. The docks were bad. It was just overall a bad launch. So um, if you have not backed up a trailer before, what I would recommend is practicing a little bit at home. The, you know, the key for me is just to watch one mirror, especially when I know what I'm backing into. I don't have to check both mirrors. Um, as long as I stay, you know, two feet from that dock, I know exactly where I'm at. So I tend to just watch one mirror. Um, this is my first launch in six months. You know, we have a pretty hard winter here in Wisconsin, although this year was light. Um, this is the earliest I've launched my boat on April 13th. So it's kind of cool. Uh, we got up to about 81 degrees on this, uh, Saturday afternoon. It is a little tricky with a boat launch like this that levels change quite a bit because it's a river. Um, in this case, I decided to just tie it off and keep backing up until it floats up. Um, it can be a little bit hard on your um, bow wheel, roller wheel at the front, but um, with this particular boat, it tends to be the easiest for me because I tend to solo launch. So it takes a little bit of practice. Um, if you are a new to uh, a sea do or any kind of boat launch, uh, what I would do is don't go on a Saturday afternoon in the middle of summer. Go on a Tuesday morning, uh, mid-morning, when the fishermen are all gone already or, uh, or have launched. Uh, practice a little bit. It is probably helpful at first to have some people there. I do this enough. We usually launch at least twice a week at this launch. So I get pretty good at it. First month is a little bit of a learning curve for me, and then I kind of get back into my 
move. So thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, hit me up in the comments. Thanks a lot.